welcome to today's demo. Today we'll be demoing Book Library 1. Book Library 1 features a store where a user, such as Alice, will be able to purchase a book and then read it. If Alice then decides to make an account with Book Library 1, she'll also be able to subscribe to a monthly service that allows Alice to check out five books a month. Alice may turn in however many books back into the library to be able to check out five different books that she will be able to read. Once Alice has an account, Alice will be able to rate or review the books she has either read or purchased. This is the first page Alice will be greeted with. It's the, the home page. The first thing Alice might notice is the navigation bar at the top. I, John Solomon, added the navigation bar right after I bootstrapped the, the web app and added a basic style to the entire site, which was pretty bland and rough on the eyes, the user's eyes, such as Alice's. She would have just been in pain. Uh, Casey was the one who pointed this out to me. Casey then went and changed the color of the navigation bar and added this nice background image alongside a, a nice white text box field that has the white text displayed on top of it. So it's not so hard for the user to read any text that's on the site. After that, Foo came along and essentially added this nice little animation to everything. Also a, a link to back to the homepage from any part of the website um, with a nice little owl image she added. Um, the next thing the user or Alice can do is navigate to the store. The store contains two things, books, book objects, and a database that were added by Casey, and the ability to search those books added by Foo. So if Alice decided to search a book, such as a Harry Potter, it'll display all the books in the database that are Harry Potter. If she decided to search Happy Feet, there are no records of Happy Feet in this database. Alice will also be able to be able to sort by highest to lowest price, lowest to highest, uh, by genre alphabetically, author alphabetically, and title alphabetically. Alice will be able to click on a book that Casey has a, a page that once Alice sets up an account, which Shay is handling the accounts and the login and the sign up, uh, he's having a few problems with a device and setting it up. Um, Alice will be able to take advantage of the, the re reviews function, which I have written, uh, that needs the account accounts profile to write a review. Uh, she'll be able to read other reviews that other users such as Bob has given and written and she'll also be able to write a review once she has either purchased the book or rented the book. Um, I have yet to add that here. Uh, I'm needing the accounts uh, which is taking a little bit of time to get it working properly. It's just routing issues. But once that's all done, they'll be able to add a review and a rating. Um, once uh, accounts have been set up, you'll be able to come here, which Shay is setting up right now, uh, and log into an account and sign up for an account to be able to use, uh, to be able to buy a subscription to it. So 
if a user such as Alice wants to buy a subscription, she would click on an account, log in, or sign up, and it'll have a link on the accounts page to go to a, a, a buy subscription account. Well, a user will be able to uh, buy, a, uh, buy a subscription, uh, such as Alice buying a subscription. Uh, I have it set up to where if a user clicks on the price uh, $19.99 per month or a discount price of $34.99 a month, uh, they hit submit. It'll they will successfully purchase a subscription membership that allows them to rent or that allows Alice to rent a, a book or five and the ability to turn those books back into the library to check out even more books. Um, as of right now, when you hit submit, it has a little bit of uh, routing issues, but it will take you back to the home page or the account page and say you have successfully subscribed. The subscription will be tracked via at data entries. Uh, so if we were to uh, open up this database and query all of the data in it, you'd see that it did successfully add a, another subscription under this uh, ID number, which will be referenced by the account, will be kept track of by the account uh, in the database. Um, go back here for a second uh, uh, another thing Alice might want to do uh, that I skipped over briefly from the store is something foo set up uh, it's the buy function uh, after renting a book and if Alice decided she really liked the book after renting it and everything and wanted to buy a copy of the book pretty much will implement uh, the buy feature uh, set up nicely uh, by foo into a cart type thing uh, also uh, if you're a subscriber you'll get a discount code that you can add to make the book cheaper um, if you're a subscription member so you'll hit the use coupon and it'll drop the price then, once you're ready to buy the book, come down here to buy, and you buy it. You know, your order has been you know, received. You know, it, it's it's pretty much showing uh, it's successful, everything. And then you can come and start shopping. You know, continue shopping. Um, but as for a quick rundown of who did what, uh, the quickest way possible is you know. Shay is setting up the accounts, logins with a device. You know, have a login, sign in, uh, sign up page. Uh, personal library will be added later on by uh, one of the designated users. Basically, you keep track of all your purchases and everything. And then, and this might actually go away. Um, Casey and Fu had something uh, uh, to do with the store. Uh, Casey with the books, the book objects and uh, foo with the, the searching function of the books and the buy feature um, comes back to me once uh, once the accounts are set up and everything uh, you'll be able to implement implement my reviews uh, reviews function then uh, you can also buy a function which or buy a subscription uh, which i did or, subscription by don't have it yet posted trying to figure out all the wings links you know, submit routing issue supposed to say successful um, take it back to the home page and that pretty much covers everything that's uh, been implemented so far uh, thank you for watching the demo um, I hope you have a good day.